All right, YouTubers. I have a really interesting uh, project that Richard was working on to try to flow different injectors, specifically the truck injectors that are decapped. Um, a lot of people online are claiming anywhere, I mean, this is what's scary, is when you're talking about the decapped truck injectors, they are claiming anywhere from 60 to 75 uh, whatever they measure is pounds per hour or whatever they rate those stupid injectors at because usually people are like oh I need an 80 pound injector for for your basic turbo application well I think sloppy mechanics has had great success running the decap truck injectors on a couple of the builds he's worked on and there's plenty of people who have testimonials on the you know if you do a Google search or do an internet search of people who've tried the decap truck injectors because once you take the little cap off of them it makes a huge improvement in the flow it does change the spray characteristics or the spray pattern but a lot of people are saying that if there's a downside to it it's so negligible that you don't even notice it you know it doesn't hurt drivability and basically gives you a cheap way to have a larger flow injector Okay, so Richard built this apparatus with four collection tubes. He's got a brand new clean uh, paint can that has a Walbro 255 liter pump in it. Uh, feed and return off a of factory rail with the pressure regulator. I believe factory is 58 pounds of fuel pressure. He's got an arming switch for power. And then a different switch that can either do a just a step or he's calling it a static flow test for these injectors or he can hook it up to a blinker relay that pulses the injectors but we've found that it doesn't really pulse it near as fast as it would on a running engine so basically what he's wanting to do is do some initial testing because this has literally just been built today so uh, he's done a few little test runs to try to see you know what kind of measurements he's getting on his um, beakers there and finalizing his fuel pressure because he had he was fighting with that factory regulator on that rail but he's got it rebuilt and it's working properly now um, everything's hooked up he's got uh, what, what he's got uh, set up right now on the far left was beach beaker number one is a factory truck injector with two holes about I don't know how familiar you guys are with these injectors but a lot of what it controls the volume of fuel out of them are the holes in the cap on the end of the injector well there's different size holes which gives you a different spray pattern but we also know that the more holes that are in it, or if you remove that cap, it has a, a large impact on how much fuel it will actually flow. So we wanted to do an interesting side-by-side-by-side-by-side -side 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 test where the far left one, which is beaker number one, is a factory truck injector, two-hole cap. Next to it is a factory truck injector, four hole cap next to it is a factory two hole injector two hole cap injector but it's been decapped it doesn't even have the cap anymore and then finally on the end is an ebay semen deca knockoff which many people have said online do not run that's pretty much why it's not being used now but that is a semen deca knockoff not the real one ebay 80 pound injector on the right hand side so basically once we get ready to do this little spray test and we're going to do a spray and volume test where we statically flow them for 10 seconds and then we'll calculate what the actual per hour poundage is for each design or modified injector remember far left two hole cap number two beaker four hole cap Number three beaker, decapped factory truck injector. 
And then finally number four is going to be the eBay knockoff 80 pound injector. So we should be able to collect some decent data on this flow test and we will get a representation of how much fuel you can expect to see. So hopefully this will give validation to everybody's opinions that you see on the internet. So stay tuned. We'll get that done in just a second. Okay. Here's the flow. What is this going to be called? The injector flow test fixture. Initial flow testing. Powering up the Walbro 255 pump. Number three's dripping. Yep. Could be dirt. Remember, we're going to flow it for 10 seconds. <laughs> Look at the 80 pounder. Did you make it a full 10 seconds? <laughs> 10 seconds right there. Holy crap. Look at the, okay, first of all, look at the difference. The inconsistency, there's almost no difference in volume between a two hole cap and a four hole cap. Actually, the two hole made more, brought a little bit more. It's hard to say because each of those beakers are marked slightly, slightly different. Yeah. So what we could do is measure each one of those with the Mighty Vac cup and just see how much we get out of each one and we'll write it on the chart. But you know what I mean? Like I was expecting the four hole cap to flow a lot more. I, was figured, I figured it was going to be a stagger. Of, yeah, uh, like boom, 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 boom. Which clearly once you get to the decap truck injector, it's flown <laughs> twice as much as a factory injector with a cap. Look at that. That's going to be interesting. We'll measure that too and do the math on it and see what kind of pounds per hour that comes out to. And then, holy crap, look at the eBay knockoff, eBay 80 pound knockoff almost overflowed the beaker in a 10 second static time test. So, well, at least you can see the 80 pound. Whether it's reliable or not is still debatable with the feedback on the internet, but it clearly flows a lot more fuel. So I would say that's how many more than a decap truck injector. Another, let's just look at a scale 10, 20, 30, what, 30 or 40 more CCs? If not more. Yeah. We'll that's have actual crazy. numbers when we measure it. All right, I think what we're going to do now is move the fixture and we're going to get an accurate measurement of how much uh, fluid is in each beaker. So stay tuned. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. We were absolutely battling with the dry erase marker because it was trying to die on us. So here's the results of our, of our initial flow, static flow test using a factory fuel rail metered at 58 pounds of pressure the factory truck two hole cap injector ended up doing 52 cc's in 10 seconds which equals 312 per, uh, per minute so i'm assuming uh i think that means uh cc's per minute okay so just to clarify number one factory truck injector two, two hole cap did 52 cc's in 10 seconds which equals 312 cc's per minute when you divide just so you guys know this there is an online calculator that you can use but if you have a handheld calculator or your cell phone take your amount that you flow in 10 seconds times it by six that'll give you the 312 per minute divide that by 10.5 and it'll tell you what the rate is in pounds. So basically that two hold stock truck injector did 29 pounds an hour, okay? So absolutely unexpected, beaker number two, stock truck injector, four hole cap, which we both you know, were gambling or betting would flow more than a two hole, flowed the exact same amount. Just like in the video, you hear me say, gosh, they look like they're exactly the same. They were measured out exactly 
52 cc's in 10 seconds. So 52 cc's, same as the first one, 312 per minute, 29 pounds an hour. So we didn't get any difference at all between the two hole cap and the four hole cap on the factory injector. Now, as, it, as we were hoping, number three beaker was the factory truck decapped injector. It did 121 cc's and equates to 69 pounds an hour. So that uh, as expected, or at least as advertised with the sloppy mechanics uh, flow testing and uh, a couple of other people on eBay that's done some static flow testing on those. 69 pounds for the decap. Um, absolutely uh, surprising, the eBay and beaker number four, eBay 80 pound knockoff, did 122 cc's in 10 seconds. Or I'm sorry, 182 cc's in 10 seconds because we ended up having to measure it twice with two different uh, Mighty Vac beakers. So that ends up 1,092 per minute or 104 pounds per hour so that's not that 80 pound knockoff way outflowed the rating of 80 pounds so we'll have to do a little more investigating on that and see if that's related to a dynamic test or a static flow test on how they rate those at 80 pounds so anyway that's the results from the beginning or first test of the flowing different injectors to get an idea you know what they flow and kind of validate everybody's information online and on YouTube so yeah which ones are working which ones aren't working you know the eBay 80 pound has a really bad reputation of like locking up or you know seizing up and plugging up and not flowing and that'll cost you a motor real quick under boost so it was real interesting to see that it way exceeded the 80 pound uh, advertised flow rate and we did validate that the decap truck injector did the 69 pound which is what we were hoping to see 69 or more because there are some people that have reported over 70 pounds an hour on their decap injectors but we're wondering if maybe that could be the e85 injectors perhaps they have a larger inside orifice and can flow more so we'll try to get us uh, at least one of those e85 injectors and try to get a flow test on it too so appreciate you guys watching like subscribe and click on the little bell so you can get updates on my videos thank you